welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kendra. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already and be part of the Ray Yoga community. Today's yoga video is yoga for the beginner. So if you're just starting off in your yoga journey or you feel like you want to come back to the basics, then this is a great video to start with. So grab a uh, pillow or a blanket or some blocks if you have them, just anything that you can use so that you can prop yourself up in a seated position. So whenever you're ready, let's get started. All right, so let's start seated on our mats. You can grab your blanket, pillow, or block if you have it, and place the object underneath your sitting bones so you can allow yourself to sit a little bit more upright. The legs can be crossed or the legs straight out in front of you, whatever feels best for you. Allow the eyes to close completely or the gaze to be soft. We'll take a moment to bring our attention onto our mats and into our bodies. Awesome. Keep grounding deeply into the sitting bones. And find a lengthening in your spine. The crown of the head is lengthening up towards the ceiling. So you can place the palms on top of the knees or on top of the thighs. Soften the tops of the shoulders. And without changing anything about the breath just yet, simply notice the natural inhalation and exhalation that's happening. Where do you feel your breath right now? Do you feel it in the top of the chest? Do you feel it in the belly? Now begin to deepen the breath, ideally inhaling and exhaling through the nose. And as you inhale, allow the belly to expand outward, the rib cage, back body, and chest. And as you exhale, everything softens down. Inhaling fully, the belly expands outward, the chest the rib cage and the back body. Exhaling, everything softens down. Continuing with this breath, breathing deep and full. Next time you inhale, see if you can find a little bit more length in the spine. And next time you exhale, grounding deeper into the sitting bones. And then counting in your head, see how long it takes you to inhale. And allow that to be how long it takes you to exhale. And then however long it takes you to inhale, next time see if you can exhale for a little bit longer, maybe two counts longer. So 
if it takes you five seconds to inhale, see if you can exhale for seven seconds. And lengthen your arms, take the fingertips onto the mat. Next time you inhale, nice and slow, reach the right arm up overhead. Exhale, turn the right palm out, slowly release the right arm all the way back down towards the mat. Inhale, reach the left arm up overhead. Exhale, turn the left palm out, slowly release the left arm. Inhale, right arm up towards the ceiling, move nice and slow with your breath. Exhale, turn the right palm out, slowly release the right arm down. Begin to connect your breath to your movement. Keep going, opposite side, left arm reaches up. Exhale, left arm down. Going back and forth, inhale, right arm up. Exhale, right arm down. Eyes can they closed or the gaze can be soft or the eyes are open, whatever feels best for you. Focusing your attention on your breath and connecting the breath to your movement. Next time both arms are down, inhale, carry both arms up overhead. Pausing with the arms lifted, turn the palms to face forward, soften the tops of the shoulders. Take the right hand onto the left wrist, left palm is facing forward. Inhale, find length in the spine. Exhale, curving the torso towards the right. Keep grounding into the sitting bones. And don't go very far over towards the right, just a soft little lifting up and over towards the right. There's still space on the right side body. The right side is nice and long. Take a couple breaths here. Inhale, carry yourself back through center. Exhale, release the arms all the way down. Inhale, arms back up. Good. Exhale, turn the palms to face forward. Take the left hand onto the right wrist. Again, soften the tops of the shoulders. Keep grounding into the sitting bones. Inhale, find length. Exhale, curving the torso towards the left. Keep the left side body nice and long. Imagine that you're going up and over an imaginary ball. Take two more breaths. And next time you inhale, come back up through center. Exhale, slowly release the arms down. Place the palms on top of the knees. 
and roll the shoulders back and then forward. Awesome, go the opposite way with the circle. Great, now release, come off of the uh, block or pillow or blanket, whatever you are sitting on, if you're sitting on anything, and move that out of the way. And then we'll come onto our hands and knees into the tabletop position. When you get there, stack the knees underneath the hips, palms underneath the shoulders. The knees are hip width apart and ground deeply into all your fingers, especially the pointer finger and the thumb. Be mindful in this position, don't lock the elbows. The gaze is looking down towards the mat, so the back of the neck is nice and long. Take two breaths. Inhale. Straighten the right leg out behind you. Ground the right toes onto the mat. Press back through the right heel. As you exhale, bend the right knee in towards the right elbow and step the right foot in between the hands. Move the left knee a little bit back so it's not directly underneath the left hip. Grounding into the right foot. You can either uh, keep the top of the left foot grounded on the mat or tuck the toes of the left foot, whatever feels best for your left knee. Come up onto the fingertips, inhale, lengthen the spine. Maybe pausing here or come all the way up, place the hands on top of the right thigh. Keep grounding into the feet. Right knee stacked on top of the right ankle. Inhale, lift the arms up overhead. Drawing the low rib cage down. Softening the tops of the shoulders. Notice what you have to work in this position and notice what you can soften. And once you feel the foundation of your pose, bring your awareness and your attention to your breath. Next time you exhale, slowly release the hands onto the mat, ground the palms. Untuck the left toes if the left toes were tucked. Heel toe the right foot towards the right side of your mat. Release the right knee all the way back towards the left. We're back in our tabletop position. Sway the hips from left to right. Pausing at center. Okay, let's go to the opposite side. Inhale, straighten the left leg out behind you, ground the left toes onto the mat. Press back through the left heel. Next time you exhale, bend the left knee in towards the left elbow. Step the left foot in between the hands. Move the right knee slightly back so it's not stacked directly underneath the right hip. Ground deeply into the left foot, stack the left knee on top of the left ankle. Come up onto your fingertips, Inhale, lengthen your spine. Maybe you stay here or inhale, lengthen the torso up and take the palms on top of the left thigh. Notice the right knee. You could keep the back of the uh, right foot grounded onto the mat or you could tuck the toes of the right foot. This is your practice. Find what feels best for you. Inhale, carry the arms all the way up overhead. Exhale. 
a reminder to draw the low rib cage down, drawing the belly button slightly in, soften the tops of the shoulders, soften the face. And focus on taking four deep full breaths. Notice if you need to make any adjustments for you, maybe you take the arms down or maybe you bring the hands onto the mat. Again, this is your practice. Listening and tuning into your body and what it needs in this moment. Exhale, release the hands, ground the palms onto the mat if they're not already there. Heel toe the left foot towards the left side of your mat and release the left knee back towards the right. We're in our tabletop position. Sway the hips from left to right. All right, sit back onto your heels and move the legs towards the left or the right. It doesn't matter, just so you can sit down onto your glutes. Straighten the legs all the way out in front of you. Great, now flex the feet so all of the toes are facing up towards the ceiling. Place the hands out behind you, ground the fingertips or the palms onto the mat. And use the hands, keep grounding the fingers or the palms into the floor and inhale, lengthen the spine. Good, carry the arms up overhead. Exhale, take the torso and lengthen it over the legs. Release the hands wherever they fall. Maybe they grab the toes or the ankles or the tops of the thighs. Finding a position where you're pausing right when you start to feel the stretch. So a place where you're feeling the stretch and you can still breathe deep and full. If you feel like you're holding your breath, then you may have gone a little bit too far. Keep all the toes flexing up towards the ceiling, especially that baby toe. Sometimes it wants to go down towards the mat, but keep inviting it up towards the ceiling. The belly button and the chest are lengthening forward. And then wherever you are, again, find your breath. Next time you inhale, nice and slow, carry yourself all the way back up through center. Bend the knees, ground the feet onto the mat. Come towards the top of your mat just so that you can come all the way down onto your back. When you get there, hug the knees in towards the chest. Maybe you rock from side to side, giving your low back a little massage. And then release the feet onto the mat. Keep the knees bent, ground the feet onto the floor. Release the arms down towards your torso. Turn the palms to face up towards the ceiling. Eyes can close or the gaze is soft. We're coming into our final resting pose, our Shavasana. You can keep the knees bent or you could release the legs all the way down onto the floor, whatever's best for you.
Let go of any control of the breath that you may have. Allow the body to breathe itself. And give yourself permission to rest here. There's nothing to do, nothing to see. At times this can be challenging to be in our Shavasana, but it's so beneficial. And if the mind wanders, which it probably will, gently draw your attention back to your body, back to your breath, and doing so without judgment towards yourself. Accept yourself however you're showing up in this moment. And take as much time as you need here. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you in the next video.